We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. We are diving back on into Welcome Kingdoms back. of Amador Re Reckoning. And we're going to go visit the Shrine of Matharu, and we're going to go in here and talk to Father something with an E. Earwick. Earwax. Earmagurmagur. Oh, that's not good. Well, um... Yeah, that's bad. I mean, he even had some minor healing potions here. All right, monkey boys. Seems about right. All right, well, we're going to go look around, do some stuffs. Some prayer books and all sorts of stuff up in this place. Thursday. Sorry, wrong button. I got a desk key, interestingly enough. I assume it opens a, a desk of some sort. Don't know what desk it opens though. This one, this one. Storage case. Uh, Saturday in the park. We thought it was the 4th of Jit. No. Okay. Flesh Eater. All right. That's enough for now. We all about the potions up in this place. Let's go talk with the monkey monks. Hey, hey, we're the monks. We like to monk around. Mungity monkey monk 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 monkey monk 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 monk. All right, so what do we got? The helm of gouging. Uh, a bunch of garbage. Yes. Mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Nothing. Cool. Every day that passes is a blessing from Mythari. Well, welcome to Saint Edric's. You're here to meet with Father Atair, yes? Yeah, yeah, I was. The Father's always playing host to interesting individuals such as yourself. Well, yeah, he... Hmm. His quarters are on the second floor of the Mission Bunkhouse. Most of his days are spent inside working on his research. I don't understand a word of it. It's fine. Uh, so he's sort of not alive anymore. But before we do that, let's talk about the mission. Our goal, as set forth by St. Edric, is to find the order in nature, in every blade of grass and curling leaf. Sweet. For these designs are the authorities most beguiling. This mission was established 20 years ago. The gardens and fauna pens were Father Atair's idea. He marveled at Mitharu's gifts, the magic in the world around us. Sure, sure, I get that. Uh, what about the mission one? It dried up several months ago, so we sent several brothers down to try and find some deeper reserves. Father Atair had great interest in Mitharu's natural splendors. He volunteered to lead the project, with Wolf by his side, of course. Sure. Okay, and Mitharu? The authority is the one true father to all humankind. It's by his grace and order that we are able to survive the trials of this world. He tests us in all that we do. What about the Chloricon? I'll admit that the eastern lands are beautiful in their own way. Like Dalentarth, the forests and swamps are ruled by fey folk, but a far more sinister variety. Uh -huh. Chloricon should be seen. But I advise that you wait until after the war passes before you pay your ship's passage. Do you think the war's ever going to pass, buddy? I mean, it doesn't seem to be letting up anytime soon. I know only what I've seen from this hill. The Fey are a wild race, inspired by the intimacy with the natural world. We at the mission marvel at this relationship. Occasionally, Father Atair would play host to a visiting summer court Fey. But I know nothing of the meetings, except that many of the brothers frowned upon them. Oh? Five years in the swamps of Clericon was enough to rid me of my lust for war. I was an impetuous youth, raised by the back of my father's right hand. Yikes. But I found home here with the others. All we seek is a sliver of peace in this vast world. It's fair. Uh, so, Father Atair, not alive anymore. No, I, I knew that they were arguing, but I never imagined that it would lead to... to murder. It's uh, enough to ooh. make a man question his faith. 
Who, what's, who, who, what, what? Father Eter and his apprentice uh, brother Wolf. They were inseparable, uh -huh. like a true father and son. It was a shared love of alchemy that brought them together. But since their work repairing the village well, they've been acting tense, even hostile. Just this morning I saw Eter fetching water. But now he, he's gone. Mitharu save us all. You're free to search the bunkhouse. Please, if you can shed any light on this tragedy, we'll do all we can to assist you. Sure. I mean, I already did that. What about Brother Wolf? Talk to me about him. In another life, Wolf was a butcher in Galafor. Oh. He's a naive sort, and oh, his butcher, gifts do butcher. not lie in prayer. But Father Eter believed that Wolf had been called. Well. Goodbye. Search Eter's study. I mean, I already probably did that, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, if I'm searching the study, why am I going into a well? Oh, because I already searched the study. Got it. All right. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, these things get all shiny again? Oh look, a bunch of kobolds. Shocking. Okay, 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 calm down. You wanna throw bombs? You wanna drop bombs on me? I think not, good sir. Alright, so they, they hit me with a couple of bombs. It wasn't super great for me, but, you know. I, I think I'm okay with it. I think I can let it go. Alright, roaming around the Christmas tree. Nope, no Christmas trees, that's fine. Onward! Oh, well, would you look at that? I'm just going to disable that tripwire if you don't mind. I mean, you guys, you guys tried. You guys really... I'm putting down traps. burn out he just like fell over randomly this guy like right over here he's just like boop nah nappy nap time all right all right all right all right Go to next i'm sure there will be plenty more traps for us to disable and disarm up some shroombitudes. Hey guys. Dude, savage. Oh, I missed. Alright. That's all y'all gonna battle me here? Got me. You got me the old, the old trickery maneuver. Nice. Well play. Try again. One more time. Okay. You got me. All right. Again. Again. There it is. All right. He's dead. Sometimes you just gotta flex on them a little bit, and or take a bunch of smacks to the face because you're bad at flexing on them. One of those two things is probably going to happen every time. Oh, we got a 40% chance to force it. 
What does that do? Oh, it breaks my lockpick if I don't force it correctly. Nope. There it is. And I would say, I bet we're almost out of inventory space. We are out of inventory space. Yay. All right, let's get rid of... Um... Yeah. Come on. There it is. Some silk hand wraps. All right, that might be enough for right now. I imagine we probably have some potions or something that we can maybe consume. My greater slashing fury. I feel it. I feel it deep in my bones. Gots to slash. I cannot believe Okay, okay, calm down. We gotta get we gotta get away from those traps. I can't believe I made that jump and avoided all of the traps. Alright. in the back. Get over here. And done. All right. Impressive. They uh they fought me in a very advantageous position. And I uh, just kind of failed a lot. Got it. And yeah. Yep. Exactly what you would expect. As annoying and as frustrating as it is, it looks like we're going to continue our adventure here. No, nope, not going to get rid of the accessories. That. Yep. Get rid of this. Yep. Some farmer shoes. Toss those bad boys out. All right. Okay, so I did disarm the one. I wasn't sure if it gave me credit for disarming it. I was hoping it did. Yeah, looks like there's some treasure loot to be had, and there's a dead guy over here. So much equipment. A little glowy algae stuff going. OMG! Actually, hold on. So we're at 80, right? Let's go take a look here. List of invoice to goods that have been delivered. Oh my god, these things do nothing? They're just... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Holds all the keys you found thus far. Skulls are junk. Okay. This mysterious case is empty but holds traces of red crystal dust from whatever it was once housed inside. On the front is a label that reads crystals from the well excavation. Okay, add junk and add junk. Okay, and this is uh, Traveler's Tales. Fame mages on drink. Great side letters. The religious text advises against the evils of drinking to excess and the repercussions. Oh, there's quite a bit here. On drink and excessive carousing, part six. The righteous saint Hadwin spoke of wine as his little friend in the faith, where it can serve to muster the courage and settle the stomach and balances the humors in the same fashion as Matharu's order. 
It equilibrates the disarray of this mortal life, strengthening the sick of body and calming the wounded of spirit. Yet many tragedies await the miserable wretches who expel temperance from uh, co conviviality, think excess uh, in drinking to be the happiest life. Sure. Uh, for their life is nothing but disorientation, debauchery, nakedness, spewing, idleness, hexes, and more drink. You may see such sluggards, half-naked, staggering, wearing horse bridles around their necks like the fineries of kings, vomiting on one another in the name of fellowship, and others flush with the rows of their drunkenness, filthy, faces like the pale, bulbous countenance of fish, livid, and still seeking another flagon of ale to last them till the sun rise. It is well, dear brothers, to make our acquaintance with this portrait of man at his most disabled, as to place ourselves at the greatest possible distance from it, and to frame ourselves as the beacon toward which these louts must stagger. The Tharu has blessed us with one word to counter all such disability. Water. Water is the natural necessary beverage and the gift of the authority. Therefore, water is the proper drink of society and of sobriety. As with all blessings in keeping with the authority's order, drink should be partaken of with the utmost temperance and moderation to maintain one's health, one's good standing, and most importantly, one's faith. I therefore advise those who have undertaken an as ascetic life and who are fond of water, the sweet juice of temperance, to turn their backs on consumption for the sake of intoxication, shunning the allure of the bottle, and instead quenching their thirst with the divine drink of wisdom. It is proper, therefore, that young men avoid the flickering tongue of the chaos drink, for it is not right to pour into the flaming cauldron of humanity the fiercest of all liquids. Sure. Or is it the fieriest? Maybe it's the fieriest. There's no C, so it's fieriest of all liquids. Wine, adding as it were, fire to fire, the crackling blaze will ignite the youthful impulses of man's worst desires. Beware the lusts of the flesh. The hot touch of fortification. Beware lusts for vicious violence and animalistic pre uh, predation. Beware the roll of the dice and the forked tongue of the hex's dealer. For it is from the goblet that fiery habits are kindled and young men inflamed from within become prone to indulgence of vicious propensities. So don't drink, I guess, is what we're uh, getting at here. 79 out of 80. Let's toss this out. Okay, so all these dumb books and stuff that I've had is literally what's been filling up my inventory this whole time. So I feel kind of dumb. Let's destroy all of this and see what we get. Okay, well, we're going to be doing some house cleaning, aka inventory cleaning, the next time we go out to our house. Good times will be had by all. All right, let's get to hustling or, or, or swash swim buckling. Ooh. What? Hey guys, uh, any of you know the nearest way to the? Oh, y'all want to fight me? Look, I I, I just I, I feel like uh, we got off on the wrong foot. I did kill many of your brethren. It's true, but I feel like you guys should not hold that against. Me. Look. Look, I, I don't want to have to fight you, okay? Ow, you stabbed me with a spear. All right, now all bets are off. Everyone dies. Especially Bob. Okay. I, I got to keep the combo going. It's my own fault. Oh. I don't know how I didn't hit that guy, but... All right, the Savage is here. This guy's been a thorn in my side. Literally and quite figuratively. Alright guys, ready, set, go! Dead. Alright, everybody's dead. I'm still standing. I feel okay-ish about this. Alright, go ahead and break this open. 
What, you took so much damage, sir? I did. I did take a, quite a bit of damage. Uh, more lock picking. <sighs> well, at some point we'll come to an end to this place. This place is uh, a little bit deeper than I would expect from a well under a town to be in this gigantic cavern that we're at here, but a lot of people decided to leave their, their treasure here. It's it's a bit strange. Okay. It's just one of those one of those things, huh folks? Alright. What more do we wish to read about? Bones, we don't care about the bones, probably. Uh, we don't want to get rid of that. St. Hadwin. Cripple spore caps? Okay. A dialect, dialectical, dialectical survey of cripple spore caps by Anane Hanri. What is the essence of the cripple spore cap and what is possible in harvesting one? The question would lead us through a deep and thorough examination of the species of mushroom indigenous to the many caves of Delintoth. Many scholars have posited theories on the shortcomings of such a, a volatile ingredient in the use of everyday alchemy, however. A true alchemist can avoid the pitfalls of the laywoman. Should one be astute of mind and resilient in the face of adversity, one can overcome the hazards involved when achieving the potential of the cripple spore cap. Let us begin by examining what exactly the cripple spore cap is. The cripple spore cap is a type of fungus, one often found at the base of large trees. It is unique in that, when left to grow undisturbed, it will reach at least eye level. It exudes a faint metallic odor and is yellowish-brown in color. The conical fruit body is narrow and darkens near the stalk. The entire body also glows with a soft luminescence. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but due to the physical characteristics of the cripple's war cap, capture the entirety of what it is. But do, but do they? Um, the poisonous nature of cripple spores have been well documented in the overview of mycological study on my sister and fellow scholar, Aura Henry. Besides the toxins found in the mushroom's biology, Magical essence of the cripple spore is firmly in the poison sphere. This makes this harmless looking cripple spore a formidable alchemy ingredient. How do we go about investigating this essence? The true potency and uses of the mushroom are only exposed when we probe beneath the surface. There's much more than can be observed by simple field research. One must have an inquisitive mind and question the basic fundamental assumptions that predispose us to hasty bias. Once again, what is possible in harvesting this deceptive alchemical ingredient? Many things. The first and foremost, and the subject of my personal research is... Dun, dun, dun. We have no idea. We don't know. That's, that's, basically, that's basically it. Alright, well, we can gather up a couple of things and be full up again. I, I will be offloading my large library... Uh, to the, the hacienda here soon enough. Uh, uh, get over here! I'm gonna use a die right where you're at there. They continue to chuck bomb after bomb after bomb at us. Okay, he got a he got a nice little stab in there. Oh, okay, unexpected. All right, boy. Nope, nope. It's not what I not what I intended. You're done. All right. So, as we continually... Uh, it's just never going to end, is it, folks? As we continue to murder our way through this, the, the sheer amount of enemies that are opposing us here. 
All right, what do we have? Just so much stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to wear it. I just want to toss it away. Come on, man. Let's get rid of some fine silk, some regular silk hand wraps. Uh, I don't think we want to get rid of hex weave. I don't know. I feel I feel kind of bad doing all this stuff. And I know some of the stuff we've read. Our Navy recruitment letter. And I imagine some of these things are going to be uh, maybe important. What is this? Hughes, per your request, we finally got the spider problem under control. Claude will try to take credit for an efficient cleansing with his Praetorians, but I feel he overstates his case and fails to recognize the value of my own quick thinking and scholarly work provided to the successful operation. While overseeing the spider purge, I noticed the those guards who were affected by spider venom exhibited stiffness of joints and tightening of skin, symptoms which suggest a possible solution for the internal cohesion problem to some of the Wells' creations. I feel like I've read this one before. I would have studied these symptoms in more depth at the time, but the guards willfully and flagrantly disobeyed my orders to delay application of antitoxins. As such, I request that we capture some of these spiders in order to harvest their venom and for future testing. Sure. Furthermore, I trust that these insubordinate guards will be punished immediately for my steadfast pursuit of knowledge. I require no medal nor promotion. All I would ask is that you please resign or reassign me off of subject disposal detail. Garan. All right. There, we got five more pieces of garbage that we can pick up before we gotta we go dump it all. All right, we got three of the four crystals. And just so many more things to, to loot. Oh, I can't believe I broke my block pick on that one. Oh. The old inventory problem. It has plagued us from the days of old and has carried on through. I do feel like that would be one of the main, 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 main things I would have... Uh, changed had I done a remake or something along those lines. They've been like, hey, you know this whole inventory problem? Nah, it's done. Look, you don't you didn't even have to like change the game mechanic or anything. Just double or triple our inventory space. I, I think at, at this point doubling the inventory probably fine. You know I feel like you'd want more, sure, but double would be okay. All right, you seem to be having a bad day, buddy. What's going on? Huh? You, you murdered uh, Papa Papa Shango. What are you doing? I mean, I could just like chill here next to you if you want. I can go hostile. No. All right. Get up. Talk to me. Stay back. I don't know who you are or how you found me, but you will not have the crystals. They are mine. Yeah, not don't really. Make me kill another. I already have three of them, dude. You kill. That was my name, yes, but it means nothing now. Oh uh, yeah. Not after everything I've seen, everything I've done. I am a cursed soul now. Mitharu has chewed me up and spit me out. Yeah, probably deserve it. What about these crystals they you're talking radiate about? radiate a strange, wild magic. A force that can cause change. Or even destruction. The witch wishes to use the crystals to corrupt other types of magic. What witch? Uh-huh. What about Father Eter? I lost my true father in the mines of Apatir. In many ways, Eter took his place. He taught me to respect hard work, discipline, the blessing of order in a chaotic world. Yeah? Yeah? And, and, and then you murdered him? I had no choice. He was trying to destroy the crystals. He didn't understand that we've been chosen, that the crystals wanted us to possess them. You're right there, bud. The strange woman was right. She knew the crystals' power. That's why she wanted them. But we told her nothing. When she left, you say so. Father dropped the crystals back into the well. But they sang to me, told me to kill him and rescue them. Their voices. Oh, so beautiful. I feel like he could have done the rescuing without the murder. 
What is this? Do I murder him? Do I straight up murder him? I don't know. What strange woman? She was a fae, quite beautiful. Ah, of course. Called herself the maid of Windermere. Father Retair was suspicious of her kindness and threw the crystals down the well. Uh -huh. It was his idea to lie when the maid asked him about the crystal's properties, its strength, endless questions. But he told her nothing. Uh huh. How did they sing to you? The crystals give off a glorious music. Can you not hear? Nah. It speaks to me. I've spent hours playing my whistle and watching the crystals shimmer with joy. That's weird. Father Retair believed that the magic within the crystals responded to the tones and rhythms of song, almost as if they were a living thing. Sweet. Uh, where's the last crystal? I haven't found it yet. It is mine. I was searching the it's well my precious. When I was attacked by kobolds. Nasty things. Yeah, they, they're not Father fun. Father Retair did something to the crystal. Hid it by way of magic. A priest using magic. Unforgivable. Dude, you murdered him. Why are you talking about forgiveness? Fight the crystal's power. Your curse is broken. I... I... Oh. Oh, Father Retair. What have I done? I never meant anyone harm. Especially not the father. I expected to murder Please, him, but okay. You must help me destroy the crystals. Stop the corruption. My whistle may help you find them. I use it to speak to the crystals. Sing to them. Mm -hmm. I am not a bad man. Just a weak one. And stupid one. I will pay for this sin for the rest of my life. However long I wish that to be. I mean, I could... Get I out could. of here. Give me the whistle, buddy. Oh, I, I've received a whistle. I, I have to use it. How do I, how does one use a whistle? Oh, I'm really good with the whistle. My goodness. Look at my musical talents shining through. I'm not just super powerful with my, my heavy... Oh, God. My heavy armor that I'm just swimming against the tide with. Uh, why do you troll me so? Why? Why doth thou trolleth me? Why? Alright, let me get rid of the silk. And yeah, I'm aware more bad juju is going to happen. I know. Oh look, more uh, loot to be had. The robust chakrams can't take those either. Son of a... Alright. Back into the old item here. Did we... Read this? Okay, we'll read it now. Uh, Saint... Edric's prayer. I'm the of your grace has made me your vessel. I was wrathful, but now I know forgiveness. I was weak, but now I know strength. I was afraid, but now I know courage. I was sorrowful, but now I know joy. I was lonely, but now I know comfort. I was lost in chaos. Now I know order. Oh, great authority, empower me to sow your peace through patience, to be shown mercy and to show mercy. To be loved and to give love, to be healed and to heal, for it is only in your understanding that we shall find purpose, and in surrendering that we shall find the final victory. Amen. Amen and amen. Robust chakrams. Ooh. Look, two more things I can't pick up. I hate everything. I hate everything. Hold on. There's got to be something else I can consume. Ah, uh, warrior strength. Probably not what I should be consuming. All right, cool. What is this? Oh. Uh, the uniting amulet. Or the... No, uh, 50 health, uh, 1.5 HP regen, plus one to might abilities. 
literally the greatest thing ever made in the history of mankind, except if I have no mana regeneration notation would be kind of not good. So hopefully we have some mana regeneration notation when I have to worry about it, but we'll see. We just go and swim. Wait, 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 wait. Did I find the last crystal? I'm so confused. A little momento, por favor. Uh, let's go to the items. What? Ah, I did not find the last crystal. See? Look at that. And now we can return to Hallam the White. I almost left. I'm like, let's just get out of here. Wait a minute. I feel like something uh, didn't quite work out the way we intended. Welcome to Lorca Rain, by the way. Wow. Our episode is gone. I, I figured, you know, it was, a, it was a lengthy one. For sure. Uh, is that a bear? I think I'm gonna go fight that bear. He doesn't even know I'm watching him. He knows now. Ow. Ooh, old dodge thing. Hey. Don't hunt it. I saved you. Alright, ladies and gentle folk. There is stuff to be had, stuff to do. And I kind of want to do all of it, but I don't know that I can. Where are we at on the map? Uh, I sort of want to look around. Oh. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Ow. Why would you do that? I didn't do anything to you. I don't even know who you are. What are you doing here? It's not cool, buddy. All right, look. Oh, he belly bumped me. Get to hit me, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, you can get all mad at me with your Jotun self, but uh, so how? Where? Where did we come from? Did we come from over here or something? Like I, I don't. How did we end up just spat out over here? It's kind of weird, right? Well, you guys are gonna have to give me a minute. I want to find a a spot. Okay, there's uh, some random Fey there. We're gonna try to avoid combat if we can. Oh god, that bear is angry. Guys, I don't want to fight you. I mean, we could do battle, but I would much rather just get like a, a place to teleport to and call it a day. Can we, can we do that? Can we come over here and hang out in Jotunheim? Hey guys. They seem like real upset. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Should I be concerned? I feel like maybe. All right, if we look at the map, there's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on, but nothing really, the Brigand Hall Caverns. I should have, wait, oh okay. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, cool. Cobalt and stuff. Make our lives a little bit more interesting. Uh, local map. Ow, my God! The cobalt tracked me and hit me with a bomb from that. That's amazing. Like, 
kudos and shout out to them. He's just chasing me. He's just like, whatever. I'll get you. I'll get you eventually. All right. This does lead me to where I want to go. I'm just trying to find a teleport spot that's not like in the middle of the, the realm. I just, you know, I'm being a little greedy. And you guys are along for the ride. Oh, cool. All of these go. Oh, good spiders. and Yay. Ow. My spine. Can I teleport while I'm in combat? Nope. I cannot. But I cannot fast travel while in combat. Huh? Huh? Let's get back out of here. Back to Lorca Rain and. There was an enemy nearby, didn't register in time. It's great. Anyway, folks, we're going to continue on with our House of Ballads run around and chicanery in the next episode. Thanks for sticking around. I know it was a little bit longer, but we had stuff we had to do. We've been fighting with inventory issues, and we're going to do some selling, I think, as opposed to breaking stuff down, maybe. I don't know. We might do both. Who knows? Anyway, folks, till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play. We fight. We conquer.